how come everything bagels don't cost more? <laughs> is, is that not weird to any of y'all? That everything bagels are the only thing that come with everything that costs the same as it coming with nothing? You guys know what bagels are, right? <laughs> Jewish donuts? Like... <laughs> Look, I'm not up here saying the earth is flat. That's fucking weird. <laughs> Name another thing where the deluxe model costs the same as the base model. <laughs> it is crazy to me that you're not all standing up and cheering. <laughs> Look, I'm from a little town called Crowley, Texas. Not a lot of bagel shops where I come from, okay? So I moved to New York City to make it, which I did. Uh, wasn't even that hard. I get there, and I walk into one of their fine Jewish bodegas. I say, hey, Rabbi, give me one of your peoples. Making small talk and shit, you know? Like, ah, oh, I love how y'all put the frosting in the middle. That's cool. <laughs> Boiled bread, crazy. <laughs> After a little bit, he says to me, he go, well, what kind of bagel would you like? <laughs> and I say, well, what do you suggest? <laughs> it's called pseudo-intellect. When you don't know the answer, you ask a question. <laughs> the president does it. Uh, <laughs> Where are your taxes? What is cheese? Fuck if I know. I guess we'll go to Iran. Uh, and I say, well, what do you suggest? And he go, well, the everything bagel is our most popular bagel. And I was just like, well, here comes the upsell. <laughs> I say, how much more is it? And he go, it's the same <laughs> as any other bagel. I said, I beg your pardon? <laughs> and he go, it's the same as any other bagel. And I know a bargain when I hear one. <laughs> so I say, I'll have that. And I wait for five minutes, filling with great anticipation. <laughs> And then he hands me a piece of foil that's just warm enough to remind me that I've not been intimate with a woman for some time. <laughs> I open it up, expecting everything. <laughs> Career, happiness, <laughs> someone to talk to. <laughs> Instead, I found a piece of old bread with four different kinds of specks on it. <laughs> And I look at him, and I'm like, what are these, wishes? <laughs> and I say, hey, motherfucker. I ask for everything, not some Frisbee disc covered in pigeon shit. <laughs> and then in typical New York fashion, he just responds. He goes, well, everything to you might not mean everything to me. And you're, like, you're right, another lesson from the Torah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you guys, uh, you think it's weird that you won't go to the funeral of everyone you've ever fucked? <laughs> Next joke. I, uh, I mean, it's definitely better than going to the funeral of everyone you've ever fucked. What a creeper move that would be. <laughs> you show up to some rainy graveyard. Some guy's been crying his eyes out all afternoon. He's like, uh, how did you know my wife? And you're like, ah. I taught her that thing you like. All right. Uh <laughs>